here. Some people requested on my comments. I'm doing a video about the Pioneer 3200 DVD. How it's controlled by the remote. The remote functions like a normal remote. Has most of the average buttons on there. You see on the side also DVD, TV, AVH. AVH is the regular unit. Uh, I don't have a TV tuner installed, so I can't show you that one. And the DVD, of course, we have a DVD inside the um, radio. Has all your normal functions as you can see. The remote is a Pioneer. Flip it over. Excuse the Velcro. I use that to keep the remote under my uh, armrest lid. CDR55. I don't know, this is the remote other people were talking about saying it's not functioning too well, but this is what I use right here. Okay, let's start. I can turn it on from the remote. Comes on. It's HD radio, so it might take a minute to pick up a station. Okay, it has a station. I need the audio of Prince's face, right? I mean, I need the video. I need the video of Volume up and down. It works fine. Uh, now, there's two ways you can change the radio station. With the preset buttons. Well, it's on one now. I right, say three. Goes to three. Four. Five. Six. It goes. Uh, or you could use the, um, I guess, the knob or the pad. Push it upward. For the next pre station going up Just or down. Or if you want to scan for channels, push the pad left and right. So it's not the presets, this is scanning channels, scan if you haven't preset it. Or just push it up or down, go back to the preset. This is HSD, so it takes a while to pick up that station. Okay, that's functional. Now there's the band button, so I can change the band of the radio. FM2, 3, and AM. All from the remote. The band button. Now there's a display button here. That's for a pair, but for some reason, turn this down. For some reason, my, I'm in Philly, so it doesn't, they don't label all their songs and titles. But pushing the display button, it'll show you. Oh, there you go. Try Call Quest. Okay. Scenario. All right. So this, this, this channel is doing it by chance. But anyway, that functions. Oh, that's from here. What else? DVD. All right. Also, there's a source button. Hit the source. It'll change the source. That's AV video. Okay, I have a movie in there, so I can show you that function right now. That it does work. It's reading a movie. I'll have to. Okay, hit that button right there, so it'll play while the engine is running. Now that's playing. Now from the remote, switch it up to DVD. I can pause it. Play. Fast forward. Back to play. You can bookmark it. Put a bookmark. Might not show it. You can advance. Chapter search. Every typical thing that you do with a remote control, you can do it with this. All right, check it out. Go back to the menu. That's the menu. All from the remote. Use the pad to uh, go over the switch scenes, extras, back to play. Push the pad down. The movie resumes from where it was. The remote is, is pretty functional. All right, let's skip to a source now. Let me stop this movie. It stopped. Source. USB. Well, I'm using my iPhone now, so that's why that's not uh, showing it. SD format. 
I got a 32 gig, so it might take a minute to read. Now, granted, this function doesn't work too well with it because the remote can't pick up individual songs. Well, actually, it can. Oh. Okay. This is 8 Mile. Using the pad, pushing backwards to go over each individual song on the soundtrack. Push it up to change the record. Dr. Dre. I'm using the pad right now. That's the record. Push up to change the record. Left and right for the song on the record. So up. Next record. Jay Z. Forward. Next song. Like I said, up. Next record. See, it works. Now, also from here, I uh, forget which button it is. I think it's band. Let me see. Okay, band. Now I can go for like on the SD card, I can go from music to video. On the remote by pushing the word band. So now whatever movies I have on here will come up. It takes a minute to read, like I said, it's a 32 gig. And the files are pretty large, so it takes a minute to read it. But from here I can also watch the videos. Like I said, I'm controlling everything from the remote. I didn't touch the steering wheel controls. My hand is holding the camera for that. There's the movie. Now, unfortunately, you can't fast forward or rewind from the remote because it's a um, it's a file format. It's not a DVD. But you can, like the other one, skip to the next movie. Like I said, no, you can't fast forward, rewind, pause, and all that from here. But you can skip around from here. That's the next movie. Okay, hit the source button, come out of that. Auxiliary. And it should be back to radio. That's it. So, it functions nicely. For 20 bucks, what you expect. I mean, the remote been out for a while. It's been out longer than the radio, so maybe they didn't make the remote exactly for this radio, but it functions. And I can hold down off, shut the radio off. It functions. Alright, leave your comments.